Hello, my name is Juan Torres, and I'm going to be presenting a quick summary of the book of The Uncensored War, The Media of Vietnam by Daniel Holland. Um, so just to kind of give a quick overview, uh, Vietnam was America's probably one of the most uns unsuccessful foreign wars, um, but it was also one of the first that was televised. Um, and so along with this, it was the first that was provided uh, without any military censorship compared to how it is today. So if you could kind of just take that into perspective, how much of a culture shock it was to the American people, given the fact that it was the years where television was first put on and the year where the war was actually put on without any censorship, that was very huge. Um, <clears throat> and so the war has always had a very controver controversial, the Vietnam War has always been very controversial um, through social media ever since the days of Kennedy to Johnson, and even today, right, uh, it's always been intensely controversial. So the book Uncensored War, it basically gives a rich, detailed version uh, of what the Americans read and watched about Vietnam War. So Holland, he's able to, to draw out information from the New York Times that was covered between the years of 61 and 65. Um, he's also able to cover a hundreds of television reports from the years of 65 to 73, uh, including also some television footage and films um, that was filmed by the Defense Department in the early years of the war. All of this taken into account that he was also interviewing many journalists who reported it, basically giving him a very, very strong and powerful critique of what, of what everything looked like uh, between the U.S. and the Vietnam, the Vietnam War here. Um, and it gave him pretty much just an insight of both sides, whether they were conservative, conservative or liberal uh, versions of the war. Uh, so Vietnam was labeled as the first television war, also the living room war. And so this, this is without a doubt that the media played a crucial part in shaping the public's perception of the war and the troops overseas. As one of the main factors, um, one of the main factors here being the extent to which, you know, the media featured imagery from the war, it was much more widespread than ever before. <clears throat> so this book itself was split into six chapters ranging from the years of 1961 to 1973. Um, the first chapter pretty much just talked about uh, the introduction here uh, from the author Daniel, and it, there, and it immediately jumped into part one, which was labeled the escalation and the news management that happened between the years of 1961 and 1965. Um, then the second chapter basically jumped into the years of 61 and 63, where it discussed the legitimate part of the global commitment and what it looked like along those lines. Uh, chapter three then went on to focus on the years of 64 to 65, where it then uh, went in more into depth of how the policies were taken into, their, into action uh, during the wars uh, of the time of the Vietnam War. Um, after this first part, uh, it went and it elapsed into the second part of the book, where it dived deeper into the fact of how television made a huge impact on the war. So chapter four was focused uh, for the years of 65 to 67 where it was the first time that the war was portrayed on television without censorship. So as I said earlier, um, I think this was a very big culture shock, you would say, to, to the American citizens and the American society, because I mean, this is the first time that they're able to see a war without any censorship. Um, and they're able to see what it looked like behind enemy lines here. Um, so, so the book then, uh, after this, it faded towards the years of 78, 1983 to 73. I'm sorry, between the years of 1973 to 1983, um, where we basically were exiting the battleship, the battlefield, sorry, uh, followed by the conclusion of chapter six. So overall, I think this was a great read and I highly recommend many to read, read this in order to see what life was actually like during those years. Uh, television itself has evolved smoothly into our personal lives today where it's everything and everywhere that we go. But during those years of the Vietnam War, television played is what I would say a culture shock um, to some, given the fact that everything was presented to them new and it was presented to them in the television from the comfort of their living rooms. So overall, that was.